Good morning. Welcome to RVN TV's Tuesday Morning mm -hmm. Coffee. It is December 6th. My name is Krista Smolda, your host, and I am with the studly Joe Asamende this morning, my co-host. Good morning, Krista. Joe, how's your morning going? P.G. Keen, we have a great guest today, too. We do. We have Absolutely. two great mm -hmm. guests. We've got a lot going on this morning. Mm -hmm. And as you can see with me, we don't usually open up our show like this, but we have Wait. two young, brilliant entrepreneurs. And, you know, this takes me back to when I had the show, Entrepreneur State of Mind. I mm -hmm. used to have a show, and I would bring people in, and I can tell you right now, not many of them were below 30. <laughs> so <laughs> I applaud you that you've actually started a business. You did that in the midst of the pandemic. So welcome to the show. This is AJ and Anita Raj and they happen to be siblings. Mm -hmm. And you're still getting along. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask your dad that question. Yeah. So, so you started a business called ECOR Academy, and the E stands for enrichment, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about this company. What, what is ECOR Academy? So the Enrichment Core Academy um, is an online e-learning platform. It's a platform, it's the main essence of the platform is a website. Um, we create course content for other high school students and we give them premium access to education uh, of courses that they're learning in high school and also enrichment courses for outside of high school to expand their knowledge um, in the academics and in the holistic side of, of a student. I'm a little slow this morning, so please, please describe e e uh, your, your, your business to me. And how does it work and you know, how does it work? You go ahead. You can go ahead. Okay. Um, so essentially what we do is we make these instructional video lessons mm -hmm. and then we publish them on platforms such as our website, such as YouTube, and then other social media platforms mm -hmm. for students around the world to access. And they use these videos to either supplement what they're learning in class, get ahead or enrich their current education, or reinforce things they've already learned. So it's really just an educational platform to just advance yourself as a student. I know my son struggled during the pandemic to be at home and, you know, they're not really getting everything. Mm -hmm. They're at home, mm -hmm. they're <laughs> dozing off, whatever, mm -hmm. and to be able to go back and kind of get that, watch that video again on what did she actually say or what did he actually say, right, that that's what that's doing. So like any business, you had some sort of an inspiration at some point in time to do this. I mean, tell me that story of how you got inspired to actually make this into a, a business. Uh, yeah, so it actually started with me uh, when I was a freshman, which was four years ago, which feels like a very long time. But um, during my honors biology class, we had a lot of changes in the teacher who was assigned to us that year. So we were already struggling in class. And then the pandemic hits, and now we're all at home. So then we started resorting to chat rooms, messaging each other, like, hey, can you teach me about this concept or this concept? And then what, I, what surprised me is that actually ended up working. Like, yeah. students helping other students out so then I ended up taking that model talking to AJ about it like a student to student learning platform and that's kind of what inspired eCore Academy to happen mm -hmm. and at that same time we were learning about computer science like different programming languages and then we were like why don't we try to find a realistic application to all this computer related stuff that we're learning mm -hmm. so then it was a lot of trial and error because we were really we were relatively new with that programming stuff and it required a lot of help like I'm not gonna be here and say it was easy it was very hard but we were like this is our passion project we're going to stick with it it's our brainchild so then slowly we ended up developing the whole website for eCore Academy that's kind of what sparked this this is very impressive by the way for you too I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I, when, when I was your age I didn't know what I was gonna have for breakfast so, you know, <laughs> seriously, that was, I'm really impressed <laughs> but you know there's so many learning sites out there how is, how is, how is your site different from them so uh, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. So we created this in mind. Um, when we cr first created the platform, uh, we were obviously inspired by other companies and uh, other organizations such as Khan Academy and Coursera. Mm -hmm. um, these companies, most of them are also free, um, while others are paid platforms. Um, if you look at companies like Coursera, they have very good uh, paid programs, part of their curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, they have, um, and along with these paid uh, platforms, you have the disconnect with other uh, with people of other uh, socioeconomic uh, mm -hmm. backgrounds. So people can't uh, necessarily afford these platforms. And on the other hand, you have other free platforms such as Khan Academy that doesn't delve deep into enrichment topics within these courses. Mm -hmm. So in order to sort of create a merger between both, eCore Academy comprises of free courses, so we don't have the uh, socioeconomic barrier. Um, and we also dive into enrichment topics that we as students ourselves in uh, top level courses have experienced struggles with. Um, and we try to bring those to light to students, <clears throat> trying to create an interactive design with our lessons um, so that holistically we help to develop our student. 
and other platforms are strictly academically focused. Uh, eCore Academy has academics focus on some of our top uh, top top courses, such as AP courses, um, honors courses, and different levels of courses within uh, the high school curriculum. But we also focus on developing the holistic side of a student. We have courses that are branching outside of academics, such as eCore Beyond the Books, which is a section in which our top level students uh, create uh, sort of videos, guidelines, and advi give advice for our, our users um, on how to develop themselves ex with extracurriculars for colleges. Mm -hmm. And we also focus on, um, uh, we have eCore Meet the Champ section, which also gives uh, uh, students uh, sort of like um, an input into what they could uh, expect in the in their future career fields, interviewing people who are industry leaders, um, and giving them insight into the future. That's awesome. Absolutely. You know what I'm thinking? You should have a whole section there about entrepreneurship. Yes. Yeah, we absolutely. Need definitely think about definitely add it. Yeah. And have stories of kids like you, right? Yeah. You could be the first one. Because that's, mm -hmm. that's important, especially in today's society. And the ability for you to start a business today and the ability for me to start a business. When I was in high school, it's, it's very different. It's very opportunistic mm -hmm. for you guys right now. So I'll go back to my entrepreneur show. From the time that you said, we should do this because it helps a lot of people, how long did it take you to bring it from that idea to actually being like the website that it is today? Mm -hmm. So um, I kind of had this idea with AJ in June of 2020 and that luckily it was right when summer hit. So we had a lot of free time on our hands and we used those couple of months, June, July, August, and the beginning of September to develop this because we were like, it was kind of like a frenzy. We were like, we got to get this done before school starts because we are not going to have time during school. So I would say it took us about three months from the conception of the idea to actually developing the platform, but it has definitely taken from that time until the present to organically grow and get the actual student audience because during that summer we were really just trying to produce as many videos as possible trying to push out content to students but then I feel like the last two years or so we've actually just let it grow and like get those videos out to like the student audience. Mm -hmm. so. How many users do you have so far? Okay. Uh, so currently uh, our overall platform we see over 2,000 plus users a day mm. um, that's part of our interactive uh, user base mm -hmm. um, and these users come from all across the globe not just concentrated in New Jersey not just concentrated within our region um, scattered all across the East Coast all across the United States and we have global uh, we see global uh, students as well, mm -hmm. such as in India, Finland, so on and so forth. Uh, obviously, Core Academy is looking to expand. Uh, within these past two years, we've been mainly focused on expanding the platform itself. Mm -hmm. Wanted to focus on the course quality that we had. So Anita and I always went back to the drawing board, constantly perfecting our courses and bringing in more students that can help us to do so. Um, our student community has over 50 plus members. Um, these are high school students that we interviewed all across, not just in uh, our, our region, not just within New Jersey, but all across the nation. Mm -hmm. Um, we've put out a sort of applications and we've helped to rigorously review these individuals, uh, interview these uh, individuals, and they've become part of our uh, community base. Uh, and in that manner, we, expand, uh, we are desiring to expand. Uh, within these next two years, we should see uh, much more growth. How many videos are out there? Do you know off the top of your head? Is it yeah. hundreds? <laughs> um, I think we're at 300 right now, so yes. Okay, and, and the the person that's made the, have you made most of them? Are you actually sitting there teaching the lesson or, or you have, like you, you know, you said you have other students? So I would say 80% of the videos are what we have put our time into, but I would say a good 20%, that's my estimate, is from other student teachers. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we've had like 10 to 15 student teachers in the past. And while AJ and I focused a lot on the STEM videos at first, like I know I started with like Algebra 2, he started with Geometry, expanded into like sciences like Anatomy and Biology. We brought more students on board, and back then it was still a STEM-based platform. Mm -hmm. We were like, only science, only math, let's just focus on this. But okay. then when we brought other students on board, they kind of, that's why I'm grateful for them. Like, they opened up our mindset and they were like, but students need help with other things, especially yes. things in like the humanities, like right. language and history. Yes. So then when we brought those students on board, they started teaching things like Spanish, they started teaching things like literature and language. So they kind of delved more into the humanities side of the platform okay. and they helped develop those courses. Mm -hmm. And then a few of them trickled over to math, and that's how we actually actually have the most expansive math curriculum. We span from um, ge Algebra 1, which you walk into high school with, and then we end with pre-calculus. So we have like almost the entire yeah. high school like mm -hmm. curriculum covered. 
but again, um, I would say 80% of the videos are us, 20% are them. Are you looking to add more student teachers? You, you all never, as of today, you all never have adult teachers, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's no. probably not going to happen. <laughs> 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 okay, so you're, you're looking for more student teachers? So, like, um, so eCore Academy, like you said, is a very student-to-student -student based platform. Mm -hmm. That's like the essence of our platform. Uh, and we take a lot of pride in that. Um, and obviously with the platform trying to expand, Anita and I are going to be taking slowly shying away from that uh, teaching roles and we want to more so direct this company uh, to go into the right direction and impact as many people as possible. So that means growth. Um, in order to do so, uh, we want to recruit as many uh, uh, successful and like-minded high school students to, do, uh, to become part of our platform and sort of take up the responsibility of not only creating course content, uh, but for our, we have five, over five positions within our uh, company, mm -hmm. such as our eCore ambassadors who have to push out the company, uh, promote all of our videos social and our course media. content through social media platforms. Mm -hmm. um, we also have um, eCore content curators who actually create the videos mm -hmm. um, and content that's actually going up on the platform itself. So all of these roles we've delegated and we want to recruit more individuals as the company grows because uh, I think the essence of it is in our student community and our student users. So we want to yes. expand both of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. I was on your site because you know, and, okay. and it, it, it really is it's very easy to navigate and everything and I think one of the impressive things you've done is it would be so easy to stay with STEM. Everybody talks about STEM, but you've actually brought the humanities in too, which it makes everybody more inclusive, mm -hmm. which I think, which is really impressive because a lot of people wouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think that, you know I think the whole concept is so good. Thank and you. I, and it really is. Uh, Tell me how I use it. Just kind of walk me through it, if you don't mind. So the platform itself uh, is the website. That's the uh, all-encompassing platform. Mm -hmm. So if the users want to, they can go to ecoreacademy.org. Uh, if you go to ecoreacademy.org, you'll see the uh, front screen, the welcome page. Mm -hmm. um, you can click on our subjects page and our courses page. So when you click on the courses page, you will see all of our courses enlisted. Um, you can see at the very top, we have our STEM-related subjects, such as math, science, uh, computer science, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, and then right below that, you have our humanities, which are mm -hmm. like social studies. Um, and then and languages and then all the way at the very bottom you have our extracurricular courses mm -hmm. so you can select each one of these uh, course contents or these subject contents and then once you go within each subject you can see all the different courses we offer mm -hmm. so say for example within math we have geometry algebra 2 pre-calculus etc um, you can click on these courses once you click on them you'll see our, uh, our, our essentially our drop down of all of our lessons that we have in order uh, of how they're taught in school and how we think they should be uh, structured um, and so you can go in chronological order you can click on each lesson you'll have a video that pops up and you'll have website materials such as notes um, interactive uh, quizzes mm -hmm. uh, to help assist you with the actual learning in the video um, and users can also create a free account on the uh, website everything is free on this platform uh, if you create a free, a free account you can use your social media accounts Google accounts anything just to sign in uh, with eCore Academy to help track your progress um, on the platform so I highly recommend it Wow mm -hmm. do you have an app so yet? we don't have an app <laughs> okay. yet, but it's definitely something that we do want to accomplish, like something for like mobile devices. Yes. Rather than using your search engine, it would definitely be more effective with an app. But I think it's something that we'll definitely develop next year when I'm in college and next year when he's a yeah. senior and he has a little bit more free time, but it's definitely something we want to do in the future. So do you think you're going to go to college and have a bunch of free time? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I guess we'll see, but um, this is, I definitely hope I have time for my passion projects, and yeah. this is one of them. So yeah. I know I'll definitely make time for this and to expand this, but we'll see what happens yeah, yeah. next year. I, I didn't ask this question earlier, but uh -huh. what was the main source that you used to market this? So, so you go, okay, I got this, we got this content, we're going to do this, now it's live. Maybe you had 60% of the content there. How did you get people to start using it? What was your main mm -hmm. that worked best? Um, so we don't do a lot of paid digital like marketing, like search engine optimization right. and massive like mail uh, emailing chains or anything. We really just use basic social media platforms because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of companies, especially run by young CEOs now, are kind of like, how do we leverage what's already out there mm -hmm. to market what we have? And uh, the main ones we use include Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Exactly. And there's kind of 
I feel like there's a method to this madness that we've kind of come up with as in Facebook we mainly use to target parent teacher faculties because I know there are Facebook groups that exist <laughs> so we're trying to target that demographic of people who might see this and be like hey this might be effective for my kid to use yeah. so that's what we like use me. Facebook for like me I'm, <laughs> I'm a Facebooker I know you guys don't my kids get mom you're on Facebook <laughs> yeah, okay. not on Instagram or snapchat mm -hmm. or TikTok. well I did I do we do some TikTok. <laughs> okay so that's that's a great idea because you're yeah your target market's mm -hmm. not just the student mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's the it's the parents yeah and then we use Instagram and TikTok for the students because they're more likely to use those platforms Absolutely. and then we just use Twitter because I feel like it's a lot easier to uh, connect with other e-learning platforms mm -hmm. so it's like the concept of being a mutual as in we promote each other's content in exchange for the other person promoting your content so it's like this agreement we have so I feel like these little little methods um, of promoting the content have really helped us reach a lot of people. Has the school been supportive of this? Um, so I know our school is aware of this and I think AJ also mentioned that our teachers do occasionally push out our videos mm -hmm. to like supplement learning but um, Otherwise, I feel like it's a lot of students um, intrinsically wanting to go and reinforce what they know so they go and seek out the platform. Uh -huh. um, I feel like students, I mean, I feel like teachers now use pla e-learning platforms less and less, mainly because we're back in the classroom <laughs> and they're kind of thinking, I can just teach this. I don't need to push out a video. Okay. So it's really just students going out and seeking out platforms like us. So, yeah. You know, I, I think even though you're back in person, Let's face it, when you're in the classroom, not every day are you getting it all, mm -hmm. you know, or you're sleepy that day or whatever. I mean, I, how many kids, I would venture to say, probably if you ask, 70% of the kids would say, I'm a little behind. Like, I kind of don't know mm -hmm. what's going on, <laughs> right? I yeah. mean, even if they're, you know, uh, smart, brilliant kids, it's just the reality is, you know, you're not always getting it. So that is so awesome. Uh, what I got I, it. Oh, go ahead. What I think is so interesting about this is, is, is you're right, because a lot of times, you know, you, there's so many distractions when you're a kid that you want to learn, but you, you're not necessarily going to learn in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So this gives you an opportunity to learn on your own, on your own mm -hmm. which I think is, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. because, everybody, because everybody, you know, learns at a different level. Yes. And mm -hmm. this gives you the opportunity to do that. For free. Yeah, for free, too. <laughs> that's, that's huge, because, like you said, the lower income areas, you know, they can't afford it. A nine ninety nine a month mm -hmm. uh, subscription or whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that it's free. But let's talk about this because I'm a business person and I'm an entrepreneur, <laughs> and I think about this and you know, it absolutely you can still keep your free side, but it absolutely can be monetized. So mm -hmm. are you guys thinking about that for the future? So in regards to revenue model, I think um, the whole eCore Academy being free um, with all of our course content, that's something that we really want to keep. Mm -hmm. uh, we think it's really important. But in regards to a revenue-based model, we aren't gen generating any revenue right now. We've been focused on expanding the platform. Uh, but within future years, we do have revenue models. That includes um, some of our suggestions were, and some of the models that we want to implement um, include t tutoring platforms that we mm -hmm. wanted to create side-by-side -side with eCore Academy. Mm -hmm. Since we have such a wealth of really knowledgeable students, um, that are ver very well versed in their and uh, each of their you know common core uh, subjects uh, subjects of interest they can help to tutor these students um, the students can go through the platform and actually register and get tutoring sessions from uh, whatever instructor they would like mm -hmm. um, and obviously that instructor would get um, essentially most of the profits that they're um, getting from these students that are paying for these tutoring uh, mm -hmm. sessions but obviously we would take the, the the website service fee as part of the platform to help because we're connecting both the uh, instructor um, and the student together mm -hmm. so that helps us not only generate uh, revenue uh, to keep the company essentially going, mm -hmm. uh, but it also helps to link two parties together. Mm -hmm. in that regard. I say that you go to colleges and universities and people that kind of need um, credits, mm -hmm. like, um, oh. mm -hmm. what do they call them? Interns. Interns. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Yep. And you don't have to pay them anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they get, and they get the, the, the credits. Uh -huh. Something to think about. They're kind of volunteering, mm -hmm. but then. Definitely. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll cost you less money that way, right? Mm -hmm. That's called slave labor, but we'll, 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 we'll <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not, Joe. Come on. <laughs> All right, so tell us, uh, oh, well, wait a minute. You, you gave us something uh, today, which I'd like to thank you. So we got t-shirts, Joe. Oh, there you go. E Academy, this is yours. Oh, thank you. Okay, and this is mine. Thank you for that. Of course. Um, this is good advertising. We'll wear it. <laughs> this is a small. What's yours? Medium. Oh, we need a bigger one for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> 
we can get another one. It's the holidays, right, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> you know, even people are going to think that I'm the old, world's oldest student, which is not going to be good. You know? <laughs> or else I'm a slow learner. One of the two. I, I have no, but no Both. <laughs> we tease Joe. We tease Joe. Okay, so uh, is there anything else that you want to add mm -hmm. um, that we missed that you can think of? I just, I guess that I just want to, like, m reinforce the point that it's really, lo like, eCore Academy really looks at the student holistically and develop mm -hmm. them holistically. And, um, that means that not just developing them academically. And what I mean by this is nowadays there's a big emphasis in students getting involved in the social sphere, so community mm -hmm. service and civic duty. And what we did a few summers ago was we actually, during amidst the COVID pandemic in India, it was really, really bad there, like even worse than it was in the United States. Mm. Um, it's like there are sto like horrifying stories of people literally fighting for ventilators because there's just no government supply of mm -hmm. them uh, because of the high demand. So what we tried to do is we fundraised money here, sent it over there, and we actually had e like a student chapter in India of Ecore Academy students go and donate it to hospital staff. And I think after that event, AJ and I really realized how important it is to get students involved in community service and not just to tick off, I did this many mm -hmm. hours. Right, right. It's exactly. mainly like, this is my community and there I see people suffering around me and I need yeah. to get involved and help. And I feel like we kind of accomplished that through that event. Um, in the future, we're trying to plan. Um, so we have done some charity work with uh, Camden Mastery High School in Camden, New Jersey. And I think we're trying to plan like a workshop there for like giving them just advice on college, advice on like academics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just a really simple workshop where we can connect with other students. So I think we're trying to foster more stuff like that and we're looking for more opportunities to partner with nonprofits. Um, for example, one of our advisors, so instead of having teachers involved, we actually have adult advisors, like an advisory board. And one of them is the CEO of a company called Empower actionable which is a social entrepreneurship site that provides like um, low-income people with talent opportunities to get involved in community service and volunteer work so we're trying to partner with people like that because we feel like it'll give our students more opportunities just because we AJ and I personally put a lot of emphasis on like humanitarianism mm -hmm. so I think that's another important part of our platform. Well that's I can't awesome. wait till one of you is uh, one of you is at least at least 35 years old so you can run for president. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not <laughs> kidding. Serious. I'm thinking the same thing yeah. like I'm so yeah. so impressed at what you've done the way that you speak mm -hmm. Uh, it's really, really impressive, and I'm also impressed that you get along the way that you do, because <laughs> I have two boys, and they don't always get it. Maybe this is just for the show. <laughs> I, I don't know. On your best behavior for But the it, it looks really yeah. good. But I want you to uh, tell people where they can get more information. Um, just look at that camera straight ahead, and then we'll go to a commercial mm -hmm. break. Mm -hmm. You going to go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, nice. so we have a website you can just simply google ecoracademy.org and it should come up you can also go on YouTube and just search Ecore Academy so those are our main two platforms and then obviously you can use any kind of social media such as Facebook Twitter Instagram Pinterest or TikTok and you can find us awesome Ecore Academy I have a feeling that we're gonna have these guys back sure. right and uh, when when you're 101 <laughs> and they're running, one of them is running for president. <laughs> we'll, we'll have him back again. Maybe you'll still be a host here, Joe. I don't know. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah. We'll be back with more morning coffee. Thank you so yeah. much, you guys, for coming. Yeah, really Thank you for having us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.